that go shit. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be hella high. Yeah, and I'll be hella high. Yeah, yeah. I be going up at night, never coming down. No, no. And I'll be in the sky, popping like the Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be hella high. I'll be going up at night, never coming down. No, no. And I'll be in the sky, in the sky, popping like the Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah. What's good, smoking family? It's your boy AU. With my bro. Man, what's happening with this next man? I'm bad at John Square Road and up on some shit, man. Some hella ass shit, man. This is the special edition. The special clips. edition. Clip edition. You know, we gonna look at some fucking clips on YouTube or whatever. But, I mean, y'all get to see our perspective of it. Yeah, yeah. That's the part of the shit. We got a snacks on the deck. Yeah, shout out to the rap snacks, man. What kind are you eating now, dog? I'm gonna try to be. A cheese puff? Yeah, bro. Yeah, man, I got the fucking. Barbecue over. Yeah, we was talking about that just earlier. You yeah. got two bags. Two bags. Even so, <laughs> two bags. He came so. well prepared. <laughs> and the motherfucking the sauce. Oh, that's the that's the truth, Mike and Mike. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, man. Mike today. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know who we about to look at. You know, so I ain't even gonna, gonna tell y'all nothing, but y'all gonna see. But we watching. Why we watching? You know? With this, you know, should be some funny shit. I got a Mike Tyson. Uh oh. One that I always personally like to watch. This all the time. time. I'm gonna bite your motherfucking ear off the yeah, whole man. The, the go himself, bro. <laughs> always confusion with Mike Tyson. Who said he was with Jim Gray? Jim? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Steve. Mike, was that your shortest fight ever? I bear witness there's only one guy <laughs> yeah, in the world that is the upon him is his prophet. I dedicate this right to my brother, Darrell Baum, who died. I'll be here to see you. I love you with all my heart. I wouldn't say that to All praise be to my yeah, children. Man, I love you. Oh, oh, God, I'm man. What? <laughs> What? Is this your shortest fight ever? In any time, amateur, what? professional ever? Assalamu alaikum, Maida. <laughs> what? Ah! The fuck this boy talking about? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis. Lennox, I'm, I'm coming for you. Like, is it frustrating to train like you did and then have Man, this? I, this about to so fight, I only trained probably two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend. And I dedicate this fight. I wasn't gonna fight. I dedicate this fight to him. I was gonna rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. <laughs> Who that boy I feel in this off right now? No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody. <laughs> I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nairclaw. There's no one that can match me. It's my my style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. <laughs> and I'm the <laughs> I want your heart. I want to eat your children. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. He in all that with me. He he very delusional. He can't listen. Um, if he if he was anywhere near that um that ground with Grand Ali, he'd be able to take his kid to school by himself. I would say he's Grand Ali. I mean, okay, he can't take he can't take his kid to school by himself. I would say he's talking about great. Greatness is not guarding itself from the people. Greatness is being accepted by the people. He can't take his kids alone and to the outside of the ring. Himself. He gave you shit like that. He's a little you know, scared man. He's a very small scared man. You don't know what man. the fuck you're going to say. He may snap on you. He's going to scare the fuck out of you. I'm just looking forward for the win. If Douglas beats Holyfield, it looks as though you've got a rematch with Buster. Some people think you'll stiff Alex Stewart and not fight him in December. No, you shouldn't believe that at all because you know why? Because after, cause after I, I kick Stewart ass and give him a slow beating, nearly death, I'm going to take whoever the win after that, the Holyfield Douglas fight, and then regain my title. And hopefully I can fight Raider Ruddick or this other guy, George Foreman, before he die of, you know what I mean, rigor mortis. Mike, you know, rigor mortis. About criticism <laughs> that you received. What's your feeling about the criticism? They've never fought in their damn life and still they're going to be... Um, um, 
I know. Don yeah, King when he started going down. I know. Don King I fucked up first. He oh, come on down the street, Jackie, you punk ass white boy. Come here and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. The you can't fuck? touch me, you're not man enough. I eat your ass all alive, you bitch. What? Fuck you, you hoe. Come and tell me my face. Fuck you ass for everybody. Oh, fuck no. Bitch, come on, you bitch. But, you're but you want me to fight this nigga? Yeah, this nigga talking about fucking niggas in the head. I'm not fighting this nigga. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. Mike, uh, uh, first one, both are six to what? one underdog. Are there any concerns Shoot. in your part? Shoot. I don't know. Bang, 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 bang. I know nothing about numbers. I used to know what I can do. <laughs> what the fuck that boss is? Okay. How about the 19 months <laughs> off? Does what that, about it? Does what it about it? Does it pose any <laughs> problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. <laughs> you take into the ring a lot of rage. Look at his face. That, that boy is scared as a motherfucker. against you at times. You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What what the, what, what does it matter? Right. For example, Ray like against uh, Vander Holyfield right. worked against Why you. Why don't you get the head? <laughs> that nigga look like he in fucking fight. Home. So whatever he happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? <laughs> well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Oh. We could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F*** off. Oh. Oh, I never dreamed of living this long. I never dreamed of fornicating with as many beautiful women as I did. Yeah. Man, <laughs> as I, did. I won't talk nice to you and talk about fornicating with you and letting you suck my dick because so beat up if I were eloquent with you, you would still look at me as a scumbag. I may mean, like fornicate more than other people. It's just who I am. I sacrificed so much of my life. Can I at least get laid? You know what I mean? I've been robbed of most of my money. Can I at least get a blowjob? I wish one of your guys had children so I could kick them in their fucking head or something. On the testicles, for you to feel my pain because that's the pain I had. Waking up every day. Are you talking out of time? I normally don't do anything with women unless I fornicate with them. So you shouldn't talk anymore. White man, the white man that had that was his manager before Don King. He found him in there. Boy, trying to do an Ali with his left. I know when I when I came to this fight, I was the best fighter in the world, and a man alive that can beat me. What broke but him yeah, down? Was it did you go to his knockout house too? Oh, bro, he was knocking shit. I remember he was wrecking shit early. 1988. Like he he walked up on a white dude. He did it. He came out the corner. He walked up on him. The dude swung. He ducked under it. Wow. And he was knocked out. Wow. <laughs> the dude. I remember my uncles and my dad and them used to go in and pay the view. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to like take to say Razor Ruddick out. You know what I mean? It's good that he shows his heart that he's a great fighter and he want to take me. But I guarantee you the slaughter is going to be more slower. Uh -huh. If you're um, trying to intimidate, intimidate me in any way whatsoever, don't you know that doesn't work? Didn't you try it the first time? 
But we don't have to come out here and hack the same ignorance we usually hack all the time. We're going to fight any which way go. Just accept that and come in and do the best you can. I'll tell you why I'm not coming. Oh, yeah, we can watch that. I dare you talk to me like that. You should you should get up and kneel to me now, and I'll spare you the night of the 28th. I'd also say, you come in and you come ready. You understand? Because I'm going to come ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, you know that. I don't know why you talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. That's what I like about you, Mike. You talk tough. Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? And I'm going to be like that. I don't want to bring myself down to his level. So I don't really even want to cherish that thought. I'm going to go in there and we're going to fight. And that's the bottom line. That's the Mike Tyson. I can't wait till the 28th. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. Let me tell you something, you. Hey. Yeah, you know something, I'm not even going to um, dignify that with a hand. So you know why I'm not dignify that with a hand? Because I'm going to bring myself down to your level. There's something right. you can't buy in that class. And you don't got none of that. Just sweet. I'm going to make sure you kiss me good with those right, big lips. I'm in it. I'm in it. Get in the hell. Oh, I, I see. That's like live. Like, I was watching it on pay per view. I was like, damn, we put that dog. Beautiful. Come on, beautiful. Chomp this. He, he spit and went back again, did it again. He spit his mouthpiece out and bit that dog. And bit a piece out. Yeah, he talked about that. You know, Dr. Lou, he said, I was just trying to be a pain. He was just trying to be a pain. Hey, they said that they've been happy since they was younger. Because they was bold in the arm. Um, the little USA shit when they was young. Mm. And they say like Tyson used to walk in that bitch and used to pump him and, and the niggas used to be playing pool and he would walk up and like take his stick and finish the game. Mm -hmm. And so he tried to do that bitch. 